Lippity Slabity Slabity Hands, and I'll welcome you back with Booth. This is The Sim Pit, and today we're doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, we're taking a look at SnowRunner. Here's the main menu. Today we're going to take a look at the settings, and uh, a little bit later uh, you'll get a look at the cars, and a small look at uh, the three that I know of areas that are included with the campaign. Uh, so let's get started right away. Here we go into the settings. So we got your pretty standard affair here. Uh, game, video, audio, HUD, you know, heads-up display, controls, gamepad, and steering wheel. Uh, we're going to start off with game real quick. Just take a look. It's basically display, uh, basically just the brightness, gamma, uh, display, and repeat hints. And you know all that kind of stuff is pretty typical. Same thing with video. You got your display mode. There's a borderless is what I'm on. There's also the full screen and windowed. Uh, target display, so which monitor you're using, you know, your typical V-Sync, anti-aliasing, some special stuff like the, the film grain and the sharpening for aesthetic things. Uh, legacy camera lets you move the camera a little different. And then again, your typical advanced settings that you would normally see. Um, some of them, there's one that's a little bit different because uh, you have so terrain distance, you know, typical how far you see the terrain with the LOD, that kind of stuff. Grass density, object density, shadow quality, texture quality, texture filtering, ambient occlusion, water quality, fog, light shafts, and mirrors. All typical, and this you, you kind of get what that stuff does for the most part, I would imagine. But we have here one that I skipped, uh, simulation quality. Controls how much physical simulation and related effects will occur during the game. This one I'm interested in. It's on ultra, and even if I turn, so the, the graphics do say custom, this is on high actually. Um, you'll see all the settings don't change when I go down to high like that. It's just because of uh, it's beta. Um, ultra stays on ultra high simulation stays on ultra medium stays on ultra doesn't go down until you put it on low so i'm thinking that this has something to do with the actual physics of the title because it moves the dirt around and stuff like that so you want to have it as high as possible i don't know pretty neat though nice little setting um it's i'm curious to see if we uh, figure out more about it and as you know people that are smarter than me get into this and kind of learn more about what's going on there uh, but i like that i like that as a setting if it does what i think it does um it's a really good way to save on resources in some cases um because you could turn down the actual physics quality in the game making your uh, cpu load a lot lighter very cool to include that uh your hud's pretty typical zone markers um so that's like you know when you set up uh, uh lookout towers and you're going to uh, pick up stuff at the shop and stuff like that there'll be little parking areas for you um you can obviously hide the hub if you don't hide the hud if you don't want it um and then objective markers so again same kind of deal uh you got up there's like going to be a little circle that's your objective uh controls it is for some reason skipping which is interesting but i'm not going to worry about that for now uh, vibration is your typical thing. You know, you go in, you can swap the triggers, you can invert the axes, uh, you got your stick sensitivity, and then you have some pre-made schemes. Now, I've opted to use the scheme D. You'll have to take a look and see which which prefer uh, which preference is good for you. Um, but I like this one because if you look at the D-pad, does all of my functions, engine, player, and headlight stuff, and the uh, YXAB does uh, all of the winch handbrake and stuff like that, and the right analog stick does my camera. Uh, a lot of these, you notice the YXAB doesn't actually do a lot, right, for two of them. And then for this one, the right stick doesn't properly do the camera. When you press it in, it's clutch. Whereas when you press it in on this one, it's toggle. So that's why I've chosen to go with this one. Um, and then for steering wheel, this is where things got a little bit interesting. And I'd like to remind you that this is a beta. Um, so this is very likely to change. You can go through here and map everything as far as I've seen. Multi-controller support is non-existent at the moment. I don't know if, if they're planning um, on having that fixed for day one or not. I would really hope so, but that's something you should definitely message the devs on um, if you're having issues. And then uh, also these profiles, although they're not doing anything down here, do work. So I'm using a Thrustmaster TS wheelbase. Um, you can see there's the T150, the TGT, uh, the T300, and then there's some other stuff here. Uh, that actually works. So I just put it on like either the T300 or a TGT. Um, I've gone with the T300 or the, sorry, the TGT because it's PlayStation buttons. And I just kind of learned like this little yellow button down here on this wheel is square. And this one up here is X. And I think the white one next to the square is a triangle. I forget and I have to look sometimes, but like I've, I've just kind of gotten used to which buttons do what anyways. Um, so we put that one like that. And for me, that's been good. I just want to make sure it actually stayed. Yeah, it did. Excellent. So with that, 
I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. And we will see you guys after I get a little bit through it. And we can take a look at the cars in the next little episode of our look at SnowRunner. Slabity Slabities bros, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, sub, all that good stuff. You can check out Shauner's stream of more coverage. Uh, he's going to be doing the first part of the career, which is why I'm not bringing you with me. And uh, you will be able to go watch that at twitch.tv slash thesimpit live. As well as youtube.com slash uh, thesimpit.